Hello and welcome to another City Update. I'm Deborah Cedillo Dugan. Summer's here and so are those pesky little insects. We need to be on the lookout for mosquitoes, especially those carrying the West Nile virus. Joining us today is Patrick Ravenstein. He's with the Neighborhood Services Department and John Townsend. He's with the he's with Maricopa County Environmental Services Department. It's great seeing you, John. Patrick, it's nice seeing you as always as, uh, as well. I'm going to start with you first, John. Um, what is West Nile virus? It's actually a virus of birds and the mosquitoes that uh, fly around at nighttime, the nighttime biting mosquitoes, they pick the virus up from the birds and then normally just pass it on to another bird. But uh, whenever you have a lot of activity, then you can get humans and other animals that uh, become infected by the mosquitoes. So it's all birds that carry this virus or just they, they happen to be carrying this? They, they can. Um, it circulates in the birds. Most of the birds around here um, that carry West Nile uh, are finches and sparrows and some of the smaller birds that you see around. Some of the, the bigger ones would be the grackles, you know, the big black grackles and those types of things. But any bird can, can become infected, but uh, those are the most, uh, you know, common ones around in the valley. Okay, so the mosquito bites the bird and it right. extracts the, uh, uh, contracts the, the, the West Nile virus and then the mosquito bites a person. Right. And then they get the virus. And so what happens? What, what, what are some of the symptoms or what happens to a person if they actually attract this? Most people really, you know, wouldn't even notice it or maybe some flu-like symptoms, say 80%. Then you get 20% that uh, uh, progress beyond the flu-like symptoms and uh, maybe have to be hospitalized. They, they can um, start to get the meningitis and cephalitis, those types of things, but that's only like maybe one or two percent okay. of, you know, say a hundred people that got exposed to it, so. Well, and I know the city and the county work together. What is the county doing to, to educate and to, to, uh, to help uh, catch these little pesky mosquitoes? Well, we, we continually try to educate, you know, we go to libraries and we pass out, you know, literature to people. Uh, we investigate citizen complaints that come in. Uh, we have a extensive uh, surveillance network that uh, throughout the whole county that uh, we set traps to collect mosquitoes so that we can take them back uh, each week and test all those mosquitoes and then find out if we do have West Nile popping up in a certain area. Um, where those mosquitoes are coming from and then we try to go out and treat that area. And this is of course where the city comes in Patrick and you guys do such a great job at Neighborhood Services Department for, for so many different things whether it be blight, graffiti removal, but uh, your neighborhood inspectors are out day to day checking out neighborhoods and for a lot of times they can be the first line of people actually seeing some maybe right. things that are not so good and, and that, that is, uh, is happening like in the pool areas. Right, we, we, the inspectors try and work with neighborhood associations and other city departments as well to identify pools um, that are green and not circulating. Um, it, it is a requirement that the property owners maintain their pools and, th and they must maintain them so that they're clear. Uh, so where if you're standing on the deck, you could see the, the bottom drain of the pool and that it's free from any algae or, or uh, muck or dirt. Um, and, and the pump must be circulating as well. So. Okay, and we, we, we kind of got a little ahead of ourselves because um, when I say that the, the city is working, of course, with the county is because one of the things that uh, mosquitoes like is stagnant water. And that's one of the places that they would go with the, the, you know, the green pools, correct? Right, exactly. And when, it, when we do find a pool that's stagnant, uh, like you said, we work with Maricopa County. Uh, we refer the case to them as far as uh, the treating of the mosquitoes, and then we work with the property owner uh, to get the pool in working condition so it prevents the mosquitoes from returning or uh, continually breeding. Yeah, I know the city does such a great job too in, in, in notifying the, the, the resident about uh, obviously their, uh, whether it be blight or their, their, their green pool. So uh, probably pretty hefty fines for something like that. It could be very hefty. It starts at $150 and could, could go up to $2,500 uh, $2, per wow. charge. Wow. Um, and then if, if they don't clean it themselves, it may end up in a court order where we actually go in and, and do it for them. And then and the lien will be placed on the property. 
Well, this is really all about public, public safety, public health, public safety with the pools, green pools, not knowing if anybody's even at the bottom of the pool, and of course, public safety, uh, because that's where the mosquitoes are, uh, like to live. Stagnant water like buckets, other, other areas as well. Yeah, I mean, here in the county, any, any, any body of water or any amount of water really can breed Culex mosquitoes. Those are those nighttime biting mosquitoes. Um, you know, it doesn't take very much water and it doesn't take very long for them to go through their whole life cycle, but they do have to have water to go through that life cycle because the eggs hatch in the water. They go through several cycles and then they emerge out of the water as an adult mosquito and then fly off. Oh my God, a whole, because in those green pools, so I'm assuming too, there's the algae as you mentioned, whatever, and so they probably like to live in those areas as well. Right. Yeah. And they use part of that algae as, as their food source. That's their food source. It's, it is that whole cycle, that chain, that chain cycle. So, mm -hmm. um, well, this is great. That, that, and I like to hear the city and the county working together on, on such a very, very important issue. So I, I don't want to talk about cases, but I mean, at this point right now, it's just kind of the, the kick of the summer and mosquitoes are out there. What advice are you, do, do you want to, do you want to tell viewers and let people know what to do and what not to do? Well, I, uh, the main thing is to, you know, go out and inspect your property. Uh, if you do have any standing water, try to get rid of it. And it can, like I said, it can be small amounts. And, and not just those nighttime biting mosquitoes, but if you've got a lot of little pockets of water around your house, you could be breeding the daytime biting mosquitoes that, you know, people refer to them as ankle biters and different types of things. They're, they tend to stay down low, but they're real aggressive and they bite during the daytime. So it's just small amounts of water. Indoor and outdoor? I mean, I'm just thinking the dog bowl. Could that be? Uh, sure. If a mosquito gets inside your house and you've got, you know, plants that, you know, have water and, and you know, you've got the, you know, potato in the, you know, jar type thing and there's water in there, you can get mosquitoes breeding inside your house. I've had them breed in toilets that aren't used oh enough. So know. make sure you close your doors and don't leave them open to let the dogs go in and out. And also you have a screen door. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Anything else you'd like to, to add, Patrick? I know what you guys do is so, so important uh, for the city, those, right. those we inspectors. Work, we work very closely with neighborhood groups and, mm -hmm. and neighbors in general. So if they see a home that's not being maintained, a pool that's not being maintained, then, then please call us at 602-534-4444. Okay. And uh, we'll send an, out an inspector to take a look. Uh, if, if there's appearance of mosquitoes, then we'll work with Maricopa County uh, to address it. Otherwise, we'll work with the property owner to make sure they maintain their pool. That is a really, really good point. It's one thing to have your own personal, but if your neighbor or somebody down the street may mm. not keep their pool so clean or some other issues, really important for them to be just good citizens and, sure. and uh, do mm. their part. Well, thank you both for being here today. We really appreciate this very, very important information um, on those uh, pesky little insects. Right, so sure. thank, thank you, you both. Thanks. Now, uh, we just want to remind you to, to please be aware of this West Nile virus activity. Protect yourself and your family. Use insect repellent. Um, also, you can get rid of these mosquitoes by just those breeding sites, by emptying standing water from flower pots, buckets, or barrels. Stay indoors between dusk and dawn when mosquitoes are most active. And as always, use window screens to keep mosquitoes out. For City Update, I'm Deborah Sadio-Dugan.